guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and today is all about give my kitchen a makeover. It is kitchen update time! Yay! If you follow this channel over the past five years, you saw me do up this kitchen. Because when we first moved into the house, this was a very unloved, accidental, box standard kitchen and it really wasn't inspirational. So what I've done, I have taken the cabinet doors off and replaced those with plywood. And then a few months back, I got fed up with the plywood because I didn't see that it got a little bit um, orangey, the timber. I painted them. So now they are white on top and pink at the bottom. I also made those leather door handles you see behind me. There's a tutorial on the website. I put wallpaper over the very ugly tiles. It's a kitchen wallpaper, so completely safe to use in the kitchen. And I also painted the countertops. So I've done those five years ago with a Johnny Granite kit. And it lasted really well. It looks really lovely still, but on some spots where the counter gets a lot of traffic, the paint did lift off. And especially where Kiki's bottle machine was. Because to make the formula bottles, the formula always goes a little bit on the countertop and it's very sticky. So you keep cleaning that and that did lift the paint off a little bit. So I think it needs a makeover. And what I'm gonna do, I had a kit left from when I done it five years ago. And when I first painted it, how it works, you do a base coat, which is black, and then you sponge on the other colors, and then you do a top coat. And Ian, my partner, really loved it when it was just black, just plain black. So I'm gonna see if I can do that now. Just use the primer and a top coat. Um, normally, black, really not my color for interiors. I'm really into white and light. But yeah, let's see how it works out, because there's quite a lot of white in this kitchen now already. Because uh, the walls are white, the cabinets are white. Oh, these walls were blue for a while as well. Let's see if I can find a picture of that for you. But yeah, I got fed up with that really quickly, so I painted it white. But yeah, let's give this kitchen another makeover. As you can see, the bed areas are mainly around the cooker. This is where the bottle machine used to be, so that's really bad. You can see some hot pans were left there. But if you go to the other side, this is where the kettle is and the coffee machine. It's all perfectly fine still. So just areas that get a lot, a lot of use and clean paint come off, but here, still perfectly fine. So the counters are all clear. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lightly sand the worktop and also gonna take away all the old sealant that's around the edges and around the sink. Fortunately, when I pulled the silicone off, I also take a little bit of the wallpaper away from the wall, so I just have to re-glue that. So I took the silicone off, I had to reattach some of the wallpaper, I sanded the countertops and now it's time for a good clean. I'm just using some um, white vinegar spray. Give it a good clean so make sure it's all completely grease Grease free, I said the word, grease free, and then uh, it's time to start painting. You see a little bit of tape here, that's just uh, to make sure the wallpaper sticks to the wall. Okay. So I've taped off the edge of the cupboards and also the edge of the wallpaper so no paint gets on there. So it's all prepped, and now I think it's finally time to start painting. This is not too happy, she's not allowed to help. Hi, you may see. So let's give the primer a good shake. I hope this paint is still good. It's been in the shed for five years. And let's stir. These work in small sections, so you do the etching first of like a meter, 80 centimeters, and then you roll, and then you go to the next section, brush, roll, next section, brush, roll. Let's keep continuing. It's pretty dark, I don't know if I like it, but let's uh, continue. We'll start out now. So all the counters are done now, I've done the first layer. I do think I need a second coat and according to instructions that I have to wait an hour to see if it needs any touch-ups. So I'm gonna wait an hour, then come back. So in the meantime, I'm gonna wrap these in a strong pull to keep them from drying out and have a cup of coffee. It's an hour later and the first coat of paint has dried and I do think 
revised with a second coat on top, so I'm gonna do that now. So the second layer is done too, and it, I think it looks really good now. I think it's all covered, hopefully this dries okay. What I have to do now is wait eight hours before I can put a top coat on. But as it's three o'clock now, that is gonna be four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, um, eleven o'clock at night. Um, I can do that, otherwise I might put my alarm really early and do it early in the morning. Because uh, the quicker I put a top coat on, the quicker we can use the kitchen again. So um, I'm gonna leave this to dry and I'll see you guys in eight hours or tomorrow morning. So it's 11 o'clock and it's time to do a top coat. Um, I'm quite sleepy. I normally go to bed around 10. So 11 o'clock, definitely late for me. I had to stay up for my painting. So I've got my clear roller. Clear? Yeah, same process. You just use a small brush to the edges and then you use the roller. And once I've done all of this, it needs to dry for four hours until I can do the next coat. But um, I'm probably going to put my alarm a bit early, like 5.30, so I can do it before Kiki wakes up. So um, yeah. Sleepy protest, this uh, painting work. Let's start. If you're wondering about my uh, paint trays, these are just uh, recycled food delivery boxes. I uh, ran out of paint trays, so I'm just using these, and look at a pretty hill green colour. So it rolls on with quite a bit of texture. I assume that dries out normal. But uh, yeah, fingers crossed. It says you have to do two light layers, that's what I'm trying to do. But uh, slightly worried at this point. So that's the first layer of top coat done. Uh, it's very difficult to show what I'm doing because the light is pretty bad here. So let's go to sleep and put my alarm and I'll see you guys around 5, 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Night night! I'm a bit tired. Um, it looked like a little dry decay though. I was a bit worried about it being a bit textured, but um, it's fine to me, so let's do a uh, final top coat. Don't feel the camera wants to focus on my face, which is a good thing. So, a bit tired, no makeup, just roll out of bed. Um, so, yeah, I think it looks fine. Top layers, we did it yesterday. It's getting a bit textured, but it good. Let's paint some more. still doesn't really want to focus on my um, sleepy makeup free face. Good thing for you though. But <laughs> I just finished the final layer of top coat. And according to instructions I now have to wait an hour until carefully removing the tape and then 12 hours until applying clear acrylic cork around the sink's rim and one day before using your countertops and dishwasher. And three days before setting small appliances back on your countertops. So, um, yeah, instructions. Let's go make that coffee. Been a few hours now, and it's uh, sort of touch dry. Still need to wait a day before I can use the countertops again, and three days before I can put stuff down. But it's looking okay. It's a little bit bumpy. You see quite a bit of um, scratches and texture. But um, hey, it's better than it used to look. I'm not holding out for this lasting a long time because I think paint upon paint might um, lift off a bit quicker. But yeah, let's see. And otherwise, we just cover it with a bit of vinyl paper or something. Can't wait to start using the countertops again. I don't know how people do it or do like proper renos in the kitchen because it's only been two days and I'm already fed up and using it. But yeah, we're going to use some white seam on the edges there. Ooh, white seam on the edges there. And I can't see the my clear sealant, so I have a good look for that. I'm going to put it around the sink, but I might do it at a later date. But uh, yeah, let's get the silicone out. Some people use special tools to uh, smooth it, but I just use my finger and a glove. It works just fine. So with that done, I just have to wait two more days, and then I can put everything back in the kitchen. So it's been three days since I've done a final layer of top coat on the worktop, so it's time to put everything back on there, all the small appliances. 
it does take another week and a half for the work to fully, fully cure. So until it's food safe, so if I drop food now, I, I just can't use it. I have to be very careful with the cleaning. Just clean it with uh, a damp cloth. Don't use any aggressive cleaning products on it. But yeah, after those two weeks, it should be food cured and uh, good to use. But yeah, let's get this kitchen back into shape. I was thinking I'd style this kitchen like it's a proper photo shoot. Kiki's coming. Are you coming, Kiki? Come on. So, Kiki and I are thinking, I could style this kitchen like how I do it for a magazine shoot, but it's a real journalist or a real person. This is a real kitchen. We got a real child and dog. Let's just have it how we normally would have it. So, photos are gonna go in and whatever we normally have, it's gonna be on the kitchen counter. Kiki, you wanna sit down? Let's sit down here. where you saw the big rings you still see them through the paint but it's not that bad if you're not close up and here is where you had all the paint that peeled off it did cover up nicely it's not smooth but it looks okay I am afraid though that this black is really gonna show up watermarks but we will see how it goes so I'm quite liking the black who would have thought because I would definitely normally go for white or like a light timber I think the black makes the backsplash pop even more I think the wallpaper looks amazing now and all my pastel cold appliances look quite cute so I think I had this kitchen had quite a bit of makeover if you saw how it looked like when we got the house and then all the little updates I gave it. I'm not quite sure how the paint's gonna hold, I'll keep you updated. It might be perfect, but maybe it scratches off quickly, I haven't got a clue. But let's see how it, um, how it keeps, I'll put it in the comments below in case uh, it doesn't go well. But yeah, if that happens, I'm just gonna put something else on top. I was thinking maybe like a, a, a sticky back vinyl or maybe just have to replace the countertop. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and have a look at all the other videos here on the Handmade Home channel. I'll be back next week with a new video and I really hope to see you then. 